Graph it down at the studio. I think I see my coat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa! My ankle! Let me see that. Ah! Get going! It's getting kind of dark out. Did my coach say anything about picking me up? We're closing. Another kid, give me a balloon. Get him. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work I go. Alright, so I want to show you something. This is macaroni and cheese, and what it says is push tail to open. Now I just want to show you what happens when you push the tail. Alright, hang on a second, I'm going to have to get a sturdy grip. <laughs> That's what she said. Alright. Alright, that actually worked out better than I expected. Usually I got to tear the top off and it's... Well, alright, never mind. My coach Tyrone was sorry to hear about my unfortunate bike accident. So he said he was going to hook me up with his friends from Trick My Trike. I sure was excited to meet them. Hey Eugene, nice to meet you. Yeah. My name's Travis and that's Natasha. Yeah. Now Tyrone told me all about you and your bicycle. Yeah. And I gotta be honest with you Eugene, your back sucks. Mm. Yeah. But don't you worry, because we're going to fix that thing up for you. Yeah. Let's get started. Yeah. Let's get to work. Looking good under the hood. You can't build a roof while your floor collapses. Say, uh... All looks good. Oh no! Dang it! What are you doing? I was trying to. I saw it through the middle support axle. I can't really. Well, how's he gonna ride it? You can't do that. I, I know. <sighs> Let's get a new bicycle. All right.
Oh, hi! Didn't see you there. My name is Jerry Carmichael, and today I'd like to talk to you about the importance of sleep. We spend about one-third of our life sleeping, and it's crucial to our well-being, especially for teenagers. Case in point, meet Jack. A young man with an average life. But it turns out that Jack is slowly falling victim to... Sleep Deprivement! But Mr. Carmichael, are we really sure that teenagers need that much sleep? Oh, Billy. <laughs> Couldn't be more wrong. As a matter of fact, most teenagers need 10 hours of sleep every night. And when teenagers don't get enough sleep, it can cause many problems. As you can see, Jack is becoming lethargic. His relationships with his family and friends are suffering because of it. Not to mention the negative effects it has on his education. All he needs is a better sleep schedule. A better sleep schedule? Yes, that's right. Well, if you say so. Jack is going to try turning off his electronics earlier and getting to bed at a reasonable time. A good sleep schedule will probably help him a lot. Oh, Billy. You're absolutely right. The correct amount of sleep has led to more energy, a healthier lifestyle, a good relationship with family. Bye, Mom. Bye, sweetie. Increased attention span, better social relationships, and a better outlook on life altogether. So have a good day and a restful night. Be a deer and fetch that for me, will you, Billy? That's difficult. Trying to estimate, maybe. You kind of got it. Mm -hmm. Wait, do you get it? I don't know. Oh yeah, right. You wouldn't know. I was on my way to meet Tyrone. He wanted to have a special meeting with me. I was still on the rocks after my unfortunate bike accident, but I'm sure he'll have some encouraging words for me. Why are you crutching, Eugene? Well, uh, my dance instructor... <laughs> Never mind, doesn't matter. Oh. Now I heard about this talent show you want to enter. Yeah. Eugene, you really want to be in this thing? Well, well yeah, I mean... I know I've been being bullied and everything, but that's not it. I, I want to do it for myself. That's just what I wanted to hear, Eugene. All right, Eugene, if you really want to do this, we're going to have to get hardcore deep into this. So we're going to do some strength training right over here. And we're going to get you fit. Yeah? All right. Let's get it started in here. There's no disrespect, so when I bust my rhyme, you can be next. We got five Push minutes for us to go. disconnect from Come on, pick the pace. 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 Come on, pick It felt good to start making some progress on the new bicycle. I brought out two spare bikes and started my work. And there was much work to be done. I began truing one of the wheels. It looked true to me. The real trouble is stopping it once you got it spinning. It was already four o'clock by the toll of the bell when I discovered a broken spoke on the back wheel. I began removing the broken spoke with several of the techniques I had become accustomed with. I decided to replace it with a spoke from another tire and began loosening it with my fingers. They're still sore to this day, but finally the spoke was removed. You may have noticed I decided to put on my mustache for the work. I believe this gives one a new outlook on life and a better building quality as a mechanic. 
I became somewhat frustrated with this tedious task. I'd been working three hours on one bicycle tire. Everything seemed to irritate me at that point. I had no choice. I removed the mustache. We're about to pull off the biggest heist in history. The clan. Oh. Used to play Spirit, Italian of the Cinnabon, Cinnabon, on the televisions, using this flash drive. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention one thing. It's in Russian. Type player never runs his mouth Cause real gangsterized players don't start fights Today we're visiting a bit of an engine engineer And our main mandolin, Kip Holly. What's up, Kip? Nothing much I heard you guys are looking for a bicycle engine We heard that those are your speciality Now can you hit me up with some specs? Some what? S specifics, can, can you hit me up with some specifics? Uh, sure thing. They're 49cc, mm -hmm. two-stroke engine, mm -hmm. weighs about three pounds, mm -hmm. uh, it gets about 120 miles. Mm -hmm. Miles to the gallon. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you say we get started? Sounds like a fine idea. Come on, Bessie. Come on, Bessie. Come on, Bessie. Come on, Bessie. Bessie, come on. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. That's my assistant, Bessie. <laughs> Grace and Eugene, you're a loser. Well, well, how would you like to battle at the talent show? <laughs> like to see that happen. You'll see! You'll see at the talent show! Well, I pretty much work on the creative ingenuities of all the bicycles. Last night, I spent all night um, working on this, which is going to be a saddle for the bike. And uh, it took me all night, but I think it's almost there. Just a few more little tweaks, and it's going to be just it's going to add the right flavor that Eugene's really looking for. This was a little bit of an experimental um, product I was working on for a little bit. Um, it didn't really quite go the way I want it to yet. But as you can see, it can really be useful for a lot of things. Right now I've got this backpack filled with bars of soap, uh, both for like cleaning, showering, and just to like even out the weight. It's not quite there yet, and don't go steal my ideas. I'll find you. Another project of mine here is this uh, centrifugal balance wheel. A centrifugal balance wheel. Say that three times fast. Anyway, it should really help with like the shakiness. Let's see if we can really get it spinning. Ah, yeah, see all the wobbliness. I mean, ride on the rocks and help the way that goes. So with Eugene, um, to really get that highwayman riding, I feel like we need some sort of like mythical creature head that we can attach to the front of his bike. I mean, it would really just sort of bring out who he is. It would be like, ah, oh, I'm here, I'm Eugene, I'm a mythical creature. And he, he needs something when he's rolling down the road that people will really recognize and they're like, you know, he needs, he needs, a, he needs a ride that's gonna
rope man. We need you. The Tangler's back. And he's worse than ever. Rope man, you don't need me. I'm all knotted up. Don't say that, rope man. Besides, the police can handle him. Are you kidding me? Some are even working for him. Is there a problem, officer? Yeah, I noticed you got a tangled tail light back there. What? We need you, Rope Man. Our hands are tied. Get to the kite string! I pull the string that control the system! Fishing line. <laughs> Looks like your rope man is not coming. <laughs> Time again. <laughs> Roped into these strings. Time to pull out all the stops. Save us, man of rope. You're our only hope. Cause if the tangler rises, we'll just have to try this. His fighting moves ain't great, but he can tie a nice figure eight. When you're trapped in the deep end, he'll save the day with a sheet bend. Looks like it's time to splice things up a bit. All right, Eugene, you ready to see your new and improved bicycle? Why, I'm pretty excited. Well, all right then. I present to you the Gene Mobile. What's that? It's not. It's not doing that. Well, Eugene, we hooked you up with all the best features on this bicycle right here. I tell you, we got a spring-loaded seat, all right? We got a uh, raised handlebars so you can drive standing up like one of the cool kids. Probably not safe, but I mean, you know. We got you a uh, horse saddle. We got you a wolf head on the front of this bike. We got you a fender bender. A spring-loaded seat. I, well, I, I, said, I said that one already, but I mean... Oh, one, one thing I do have to mention is that I uh, did have a little trouble getting the back spokes on, but I mean, you could... You could probably just bring that to a bicycle shop and they could figure that out for you. And I think your tire was flat when you brought it into me, but you might want to get that checked as well. Besides that, it's ready to go.
Now Eugene, before I tell you about this next piece, I have to give you a little knowledge on the law here. Now the law says you have to have any engine on a bicycle be less than 50 cc's before you get it registered and licensed and all that. So we got you a 51 cc engine on the bicycle yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that gas engine is pretty sweet, Eugene. I mean, you do have to pedal to get it going and to keep it going, but I mean, it's worth it. Yeah. Last but not least, um, a matter of payment. Tyrone said that you would be paying for the bicycle. I so I can uh, ring you up over by the register. Yeah, register. she'll take you up. Oh, with, uh, well, um, he, he didn't specify anything um, about that. Yeah. You don't have you, money. Uh, oh, well, maybe I'll just give him a call. Hey, come back. Take Eugene, I got other things on my mind right now. You don't have any money on you? I, I've got twenty dollars. Okay, well, um, oh. we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna need to take some of this stuff back, I'm afraid. My newest creation! It's finally done! It brings books to life in a whole new way! <laughs> Through a funky rap song. Libraries are great, so come on inside. You might be surprised by what you could find. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Some people say that books are just too plain. Have you read these books? These things are insane. Believe me, no matter how tough a vein, you'll be brought to tears by the tale of White Bang. It's hard to measure where one book starts and another begins. Tie a bow from 1984 to Lord of the Flies and get yourself a bow from the Hunger Games. Now we're sparking a reaction. Literary learning won't cease. The old man at the sea had enough time to read War and Peace. I cut myself a story of a white whale versing a human male. Wait, who are you? Call me Ishmael. You could let Da Vinci reword your words and let the words be heard. Though they might sound absurd, be it a sin to mock a killing bird. <coughs> so take it from the homie author, the art bard. Having fun be not hard when you have the library card. But for fear we get too smart and start acting all snooty, let us ride from here, John. Onward, Black Beauty, all I've got's a red pony. On this. Well, we'll see. It wasn't a joke. Up next, we got Billy and his pole dancing.
Lee, Ferrari, F50. Break it down. I got a lot of living. <laughs> You are already pretty gangster. You are glowing with swag, right? Eugene the dancing machine. You got this, buddy. You can do it. You got this, Eugene! Look at you now, Eugene. You gangster. I don't even recognize you. You changed. This ain't the same kid I knew before. You done good. My time is up. I'm proud of you. You're a glorified gangster now. Now I gotta go help all the little peeps trying to be gangsters. So you know, I want to give you something very special. And rock it with respect. Hey. <laughs> all right. Well. That chain's worth like 50 bucks, so could I have like 10 bucks for a train ticket? Well, my mom did give me a emergency $10. That'll do. Oh, all right. There were a lot of ups and downs, but I'll never forget the time that I got made.